929, Tanakh together, fourth chapter of Genesis. So our fig-eating ancestors leave the garden, and the agricultural revolution begins. Their children, Cain and Abel, come to symbolize the two pathways ahead for humanity at this point. We either focus on the land, which everybody believes is cursed, or we find a different way to work around the consequences of leaving the garden, of starting to accumulate power and accumulate food and accumulate knowledge. And it is very clear that the Tanakh thinks that the shepherds are the good guys. Cain is seen as someone who's stubbornly continuing to work a land that is cursed, and then as somebody who is envious and kills his brother. As great apes, humans are aggressive. We do not need the trappings or the excuse of culture to kill each other. But certainly, since we have started this adventure of the agrarian revolution, of centering power, of centering wealth in a particular city, in a particular space, the ways in which we have killed and also the excuses we find to kill each other have increased exponentially. And this to me is the central core teaching of the story of Cain. Cain does not want to go. God tells him the land is cursed. The land will not give you food. And he says, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be a wanderer? And he does not become a wanderer. He just moves to the east and starts a city. A city. That is what he does. He refuses to abandon even a little bit of his comfort. He refuses to abandon even a little bit of the culture that he has built. But instead, he doubles down. His descendants will invent good things, music and metallurgy, and but also that comes at a price. Cities throughout the Tanakh, until we get to Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is hit or miss, are going to be centers of iniquity, centers of transgression. You can see the Tanakh as a shepherd's critique of the Bronze Age, of civilization, of culture, saying, yes, this has all of these great blessings. But if we do not master the ability to surrender some of our comfort, to surrender some of our power, to surrender some of our wealth, it's going to end up with our brother's blood on the ground.